Welcome back to Today in AZ. Learning loss, it's something that we've been hearing about for the last year and it is all too real. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken a toll on educators, parents and students who know firsthand how the prolonged period of remote learning has had a direct impact on students who are used to a typical in-person learning environment. As Team 12's Trisha Hendricks reports, One Valley School District is taking extra steps to help bridge any learning gaps. It's been a journey for us, just like any other district. Dr. Steve Jarris is an assistant superintendent in the Paradise Valley Unified School District. Students there are back to in-person learning, but spent most of the year online. Our teachers did an amazing job creating lessons and engaging students and, and, and helping them build communities that were virtual. And those are some tools that I think we'll be able to continue to use, but we also really we're reminded about the importance of human connections. And teachers also realized some of the learning gaps. We have so many students who uh, either just didn't perform well enough to their own liking, uh, or they were just on that cusp of maybe passing a class. That's why the district created modified summer learning opportunities. Some STEAM related classrooms, we have like slime science, uh, we have uh, some art classes, some craft classes, guitar classes that are focused on, you know, hand-eye coordination and building motor skills. The district is also helping bridge the learning loss gap for high schoolers. Instead of having to retake the whole course, take this abbreviated course that it's focused on some of the essential standards for that for that um, specific uh, class. It becomes kind of an extension of the original class. To help support students who missed the mark this year or just need a little extra support. Hopefully we've created a platform of classes that will support as Should many students as possible with what they've been missing throughout the year. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. In addition to the summer learning opportunities, PV schools will start its jumpstart program in July to continue building skills and addressing learning loss so students are ready for school in the fall. Our coverage of the class of 2021 continues. If you know about a school story you think we should cover or a concern we should investigate, just email us at connect at 12news.com.